Welcome to Tinks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, or professional development. That's a recording time of 5.34 p.m. on Eastern Time. Ethereum contract at $2,618, about 5.29% so far. We've stuck to over a crypto market. The key coins are approximately down about 4.55% respectively. While the altcoins of the house on average were down about 7.5% so far. Besides Solana, which is up about 1.03% so far, bouncing from the technical level of $90. So we basically a dollar and 62 cents above it right now. But is that sustainable? We'll dive into technicals in a bit. So with respect to the most recent media affectation, I'm just looking into some of the news that's percolating up, you know, the last couple hours so far. I want to do like a third video because uh, it's a lot of like volatility uh, going on and we've been experiencing a relatively downward escalator trend today. So the most recent news that's, mo that's like the most substantive is with respect to an uh, optic, okay? So Joe Biden abruptly canceled his trip to Delaware, which is his home. Um, after his top meeting, which happened obviously earlier today with respect to National Security Council, on to discussing the next level uh, of tactical and strategic steps uh, on to fighting the Russian and Ukraine war crisis, right? Seems like it's percolating, right? So with that, I mean, it doesn't really say much, right? But obviously when, you know, when like this is something that happens to me quite often, like especially when I used to work on Wall Street, um, when there's crunch time, when there's a lot of important um, meetings or events or tasks that needs to be, you know, delegated or worked on, um, you know, I typically would be staying at the office or just try to work through it. So obviously, with respect to his trip, which I believe he planned on because tomorrow is technically a holiday, President's Day is obviously in the U.S., um, that his travel plan has changed quickly, right? And obviously with this depiction uh, on shifting uh, the president's schedule, which is, you know, typically relatively, um, you know, not the most common type of occurrence, uh, it drives some, you know, media affectation. Obviously, um, this news came up about like literally an hour ago. Um, this is more just like, a, I guess, a, I don't know, shocking all type of news. I mean, it is kind of interesting, more of like a trivial one, to be honest with you. Uh, but it does, you know, show some sort of alarming optics, right? Um, if, you know, the the meeting went well and everything is uh, kind of copacetic, you know, they're reaching an agreement or some sort of, a, you know, amicable compromise, um, they did, wouldn't have to resort into something like an abruptly canceled meeting onto shifting to other, you know, more of like a tactical um, or reactive support, if you may, right? So driving some sell-off across the board, uh, we are clearly broken through the resistance level previously of 2,623 or 25, if you may. So without wasting more time, let's just dive straight into the technical analysis. Um, but before I do that, I just I have a quick favor to ask. So my sister's been working really hard on her YouTube channel. Uh, so she actually made a channel called Send and Send that she's been posting quite consistently, you know, uh, and me as the older brother, um, you know, with my, you know, great fortune that you guys have been helping us collectively build things invest. Uh, hopefully you guys can uh, also help her out as well. Uh, I really appreciate that. And with respect to this channel, you get to see, um, you know, a little bit sn snapshot about my life. Um, cause I do hang out with her at least once a week, uh, even though she lives in a different borough in New York city. Uh, but you get to see, you know, um, a little bit more about my personal life, I guess. So let's go back into the um, technical analysis. So right now we broke below the 2,623. So next level propensity going down to will obviously be the 2,600, right? Because it's a flat number. And ideally to even to the 2,500, which is another monumental flat number, right? Which you see there's some consolidation here, right? And respect to the extremity of the bottom of this of this uh, resistance will be the 2360 right so what's the like of actually cracking down there we we do have technically some level to go down to right we're 35 out of 70 at the moment so we are just at the level of oversold right but we're not like completely oversold yet right we still have some room to go down to technically 30 is like the screaming oversold level right so i think ideally maybe you know uh if it gets worse right let's just say uh, tomorrow we hear news about the war breaking up officially and subsequently in the in the rest of the week uh, next week 
uh, we could technically go com come back down ideally the first level 2360 to the 2150 from there so Bitcoin right now the 38500 basically we're still levitating so the next level we need to glide back down to will be 37500 if we break that obviously we'll go down firstly to the 3600 36,000 sorry and then the 35 uh, 500 which is this next level but you, you can see that those are relatively weak level the real level we need to get down to will be somewhere around 34 500 with the 30 f 70 so I think those are frame would need to watch out for uh, dogecoin is at about three percent at 1367 right now I like anywhere from basically 1370 all the way to 12 cents so right now it's actually still tolerable in terms of incurring risk Cardano is at 93 cents right now. Uh, you can see that we are basically bouncing from the previous resistance level. So any, I like anywhere from 99 cents all the way to 90 cents from here. Solana is rebounding slightly. Um, not really a, a, a major one, but uh, obviously 90 is a monumental level. It's a flat number. But I like anywhere from basically 90 all the way to 80 from here in terms of dollar cost averaging. I do currently have some holdings in Solana if you're a Patreon member. Uh, with respect to X XRP, we're down 5% right now. Um, at the moment, the 51 out of 70 will about form a death cross as well, so definitely not a good level. I like anywhere from 62 to 57. Polka dot down about close to 5% as well at 34 right now. I like anywhere from current level all the way to 1587. Uh, Algorand's down about 5% as well, anywhere from current level all the way to 79 cents as well. Shiba Inu is down about 8% so far. Um, I like low 2000, so we're heading there obviously. We're basically reaching this gap right now so we still have a long way to go down to so low 2000 1400 900 from here respect to mac tech is uh, 151 right now down seven percent i like anywhere from closing in 143 to 120 uh avax 77 dollars at the moment down close to 10 percent we have a long way to come back down uh so obviously you're gonna hit those like flat number right 70 and then subsequently 60 but i would prefer 60 or two 50 from the frame to dollar cost average at Luna revived a little bit. Uh, we were at like lower level the 47 before. Um, again, right, 62, 52 to 45 from here. So we're basically like five dollars, four dollars above the next resistance level. So right now, still tolerable in terms of incurring risk, right? So with respect to developmental front, uh, nothing really progressed so far. It just seems like uh, the media affectation is just more like an optical. Um, you know, step by step, if you may. Um, ultimately, we are still pending on the confirmatory signal, and the government uh, and the political side of the house are working days in days out to try to resolve. You know, this hopefully into a amicable re resolution at the end, right? So, hope hopefully this is helpful. Appreciate you on uh, joining me on this Sunday afternoon again. Uh, hope you guys all had a great weekend. Uh, we're heading on to Monday. Uh, but, you know, despite tomorrow's like a U.S. holiday, you know, this work never stops, right? So I'm still going to be right there with you. Uh, I'm still working anyway. So let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.